Hello my besties. This is a vlog for the 72 hour romance readathon that I put together to just read romance books with friends. We are doing pink on the cover, sports romance, and then a romance book of choice. So it is day one of romance-a-thon and I am currently reading When in Rome by Sarah Adams and I already started The Mistake by L. Kennedy. On The Mistake, I'm like halfway through. This is book two in the um, off campus series. Book one is The Deal and I loved The Deal so much. It's pretty R-rated and has open doors. So like if that's not your thing, just completely avoid it, trust me. But if you can look past those scenes, loved The Deal. So I've been wanting to pick up book two. So for my sports romance prompt, I picked The Mistake, which follows another character from the hockey team, John Logan. He is known to be a player, but he's kind of feeling like he wants to settle down. He meets a freshman kind of falls for her, but he ends up ruining it, just being stupid. <laughs> and so now it's the following year, he wants to win Grace back, but she's kind of like not having it and not gonna let him get her back easily. So far, I really like it. I like how Elle Kennedy adds more than just the romance to the plot. There's some family dramas going on, which I actually find a lot in sports romance. And I think that's why I really like sports romance because I want some family drama. I want some stuff that makes it a little bit more realistic and lifelike and just draws my heart in. I think I'm going to download this one on my Kindle though because I want like a nighttime read because I'm trying to get through three books in three days and that's a lot if I'm not reading like through the night a little bit and holding a book is obnoxious at night. But I do have reading sprints going on this evening where I will be reading When in Rome. I did start but I'm only like 30 pages into it. Already though, this meat cute like come on if you have read this and you know like this is one of the cutest intros to a romance book ever i'm just swooning it is adorable they have already made me laugh out loud granted Sarah Adams is great at writing that banter. Another thing with Sarah Adams is she writes more closed door romance, which I do appreciate. I find that hard to find and valuable when I do find it. So far, even in just 30 pages, I'm absolutely gripped. So I will be reading this like during sprints tonight. I'm hoping to finish it tonight. That would be great if day one, I actually finish one book. But if you don't know, this one is about Amelia Rose, who is a famous singer or actress, princess of pop. So she's a singer and she kind of gets straight Stranded in Rome, Kentucky, where she meets Noah, and they definitely have their judgments of each other. Like, I was hysterically laughing because she calls him Wilderness Ken. <laughs> he goes from who she thinks is like a hillbilly Joe, and then she sees him and she's like, oh wow, he's like a Wilderness Ken. And so they have these like preconceived judgments of each other, and it's adorable. And so I'm sure the rest of the book is just gonna be like figuring out the real sides of each other and probably falling in love because book two just came out, which is Practice Makes Perfect. And I don't want to spoil, but if you even read the synopsis on that one, it kind of spoils what goes on in this one. But I'm very excited to read this book. And then if I get through these two, I do have another book that I'll be reading. I'll just show you guys later. I hope that you enjoy this vlog. And as I finish some things, I will let you know how I feel about them. Channel? Yeah. Okay, guys, go support Ben Simon and tell him that Bookish Gem sent you, and then Bookish Gem and her little sister can meet him. I mean, technically, you get the credit because I, I wouldn't have found him credit. without I love you. This song. Guys, yeah. set up yeah. Alana to go to a Ben Simon concert. <laughs> tell him to come to Florida. Make it happen. <laughs> Happy Saturday! It is day two of romance -a -thon. Today we have some fun plans. I am currently at the bookstore. It's this really, really cute used bookstore in my hometown that I used to come to all the time. And then obviously I haven't lived here now for several years. So I haven't been since, oh my gosh, it's been like over three years since I've been in this bookstore. And I used to get like bags full of books 
for like five bucks and I used to get some really good stuff but like I said it has been actual years since I've been here so fingers crossed that it's even like good anymore and I have all my girlies with me so we're gonna just go in the bookstore we're gonna go out for lunch and then I'm gonna go and just read for the afternoon because I'm very behind on my books that I'm supposed to be reading for this romance-a-thon and I need to catch up so that's what we're doing loud slurp from your mint all right so so that was not very successful i'm a little bummed because i used to come here and leave with so many books as i already said but you know that is the like downside of the thrift shopping is sometimes it's a win and sometimes it's a lose and this was a lose but my husband will be happy i mean i'll just show you guys what i did get the only one i got for myself is a new karen kingsbury well the book isn't new but it's new for me i haven't read this one yet i love her books and this one was like in mint condition and i don't have this physical copy so this is literally all i grabbed for myself but i did find some brad thor books my husband is currently in this series and loves it I almost bought one of them I don't know which one he's on but I almost bought one for $16 on Amazon for just one of these books and I got all four books today for four bucks so that is a win I mean so I guess like it was a win it was a win for my husband not really for me so off to lunch oh I drop books all the time so we're gonna head to lunch and go home and do some reading I just want to read I finished. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I loved this book. I'm gonna say that it's like four and a half stars. You know what, 4.75 stars. For overall enjoyment, I swear, like I just smiled through this entire book. Literally didn't stop smiling. I just really found this to be so heartwarming and endearing and adorable and their banter was amazing. One of my friends said that it is like Gilmore Girls and especially the main male in this one, he is like Luke from Gilmore Girls and it is spot on comparison. Like literally the town with the characters that are all up in each other's business was so Gilmore Girls. No is literally Luke like it's hilarious that he is like this grumpy exterior but he actually is like so stinking sweet and swoony I just loved it so much I can't wait to pick up practice makes perfect the only reason it's not getting five stars for me is because I don't know what is wrong with me and like why I'm being so grumpy about my romance <laughs> but I'm like getting really annoyed by like the insta love stuff I would be so engrossed in it and then I'd be reminded that they knew each other for literally a couple days or ultimately ended up being only two weeks that they knew each other. Every time like that little nugget of a reminder came into play, I was annoyed by it. This is like a new Jordan. I don't know why I'm being so grumpy and judgy when literally even in my own life, the day I met my husband, I would have married him. So anyways, on to the next book which I already showed you guys is The Mistake. I'm still sitting at like halfway through this one. So I have a lot of reading to do because I wanted to finish three books by tomorrow. So technically I need to finish this today. I will update you guys though as I read some more. I am heading to a show. My little sisters do theater and 
So one of them directed the show and then my other sister is the lead. They're doing Singing in the Rain. So that is on the agenda for this evening. And then I will just come back here and read. finished the mistake and it was so cute. Okay, I literally just finished so I'm not really giving myself a second to even process what I was gonna say. This is like a real-time reaction. <laughs> I really liked it. I think that John and Grace were so cute. I really love the way that Elle Kennedy writes her characters. Their communication with each other just makes me giggle and I love the group of friends in this off-campus series. I also really love how there's always like some other more realistic and dramatic trope going on. So like with John, his father is an alcoholic. It's not like just a heartwarming type of story. So it's very different than when I read One in Rome where I'm smiling the whole way through. But I did smile and giggle so much, but also had my heart like gripped and invested in John and Grace's story. I love how he had to like woo her and win her back after hurting her. She gave him a list of things he had to do and it was just the cutest stuff and the guy's like making fun of him because he's writing poetry and he's doing these things to win her back. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I think I would give it, I don't know, like again, I like to sit on my reviews so don't quote me on this later. I think I'm gonna give it like a 3.75 or four stars. I don't know, I need to think on it. So book two of romance -a -thon is done. I can't believe with how busy I have been like here at my family's house that I actually read two books already. I am moving on to a third book. The last book that I'm going to read is Float. I found this one recently when I was shopping in Barnes and Nobles. The cover caught my attention and then the synopsis is about a girl named Waverly whose parents are getting divorced and so she goes and spends the summer on vacation in Florida to stay with her aunt. And so I was like, from Alaska to Florida, I'm in Florida. It says the sun may just be her mortal enemy. <laughs> and her vibe is not chill. <laughs> to top it off, she can't even swim. And then there's Blake, the super hot boy next door. He's charming, sweet, welcomes Waverly into his circle. And for the first time in her life, Waverly has friends, a social life, and soon enough feelings for Blake. So it just sounds like a really cute summer romance. And I hope that it gives me all of the summer vibes that I want. Hopefully I can get through it today. I have sprints again for a couple hours this evening, so that will help. So far, I think that these books are going really well. I hope Flo is just as good. I finished Float. I'm gonna be honest with you, I finished it a week ago, two weeks ago. I did finish it for Romance-a-thon, but I haven't taken the time to sit down and record, so we're in the future. <laughs> I already packed the book as well because I'm in the middle of moving, so I didn't remember to keep it out, so we're just gonna pop it up here. But I did finish Float. All that to say I did read it, and it was cute. I feel like I'm gonna give it like three and a half stars. It was a little bit more YA than I prefer, but it didn't give me like all the feels like to all the boys I've loved before and every summer after like those YA books. I didn't love the characters, but I did love that it took place in Florida. Like all of the little things about Florida that they commented on were so relatable, like the bugs and the old people and the storms. As a Florida girl, I'm like, yeah, you're spot on. The romance was just kind of lacking for me. It was clean. So if you are looking for like a cute YA summery clean romance, like this is the one. It just overall felt a little bit flat for me, but I still think that it is a enjoyable and cute summer read. It had some subplots of loss and typical like teenage struggles that I thought were well done and well written. I'd say try it. I'd say it's a good summer read. So that is a wrap. I really, really enjoyed doing this romance-a-thon. I have lots of people asking for us to do it again and you're gonna hear it first 
a few friends and I are collabing and discussing a special style romance readathon for a couple months from now. So be on the lookout for that. And honestly, overall, I really enjoyed my books. Thank you if you joined the readathon, which was now literally weeks ago, because I'm that behind on videos. And thank you as well just for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, stick around. And if you made it this far, leave the heart emoji. I love you guys. I hope that your books are amazing and I will see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh.